So our second activation exercise for a TIB posterior, you're going to need a uh, looped band. And I'm going to use a foam roll, but it doesn't have to be a foam roll, it's just a cushion or something you can pop between your knees. So there's a few bits to set this up. First thing I'm going to do is take the band. And I'm going to put it round both feet. And I'm going to put it, if you feel on the outside of your ankle, the prominent ankle bone, it's going to be sat on those bones, okay? Then I'm going to have my hips, knees and feet all in nice and square and in line. And what I can do to stop, there's a tendency for the knees to start to curl in where you start performing the exercise. By popping a foam roll in here, I'm not squeezing on it, it's just resting there, but it stops that inward roll of the knees. This is the next part. Now these next cues are very important, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my feet in to try and get my big toes pointed in as much as I can. Really, I want my little toe to be leading to the front. Then I'm gonna lift my toes off the floor, so I'm curling up on the feet, and then pushing gently out into the band at the ankle, I'm gonna raise my heels up off the floor. And I'm gonna lift them up on the two count, hold it for a four count, four, and then one, two, down. Lift the toes up, the heels go, one, two to the hold for four, Two, four, two, so two seconds lift. I can't exercise, talk, and count all at once. It's completely beyond me. So it's a two second lift, a four second hold, and then a two second lower. So as we lift the heel, we lift the toes, pushing it out on the band just gently, holding for the four, and then down for the two. Again, this is one of those exercises you look at it and think, yeah, I can do that. When you get into your sixth, seventh, eighth one, you know you're doing it and it's really good exercise for activating that tip posterior but the important part is keeping your knees in line getting your feet turned in and lifting those toes as you lift your heels because if you're not doing those cues you're not really targeting the muscle you're getting other other muscles can do this heel lift and we need to get them out of the equation and the way you do it is through those cues